Today we are diving into the exciting world of supply and demand trading in the forex market and how I took that concept to the next level with algorithmic trading. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let me take you back where it all began. Picture this, a few years ago I was right there where many of you might be now. Glued to my screens, meticulously studying supply and demand zones and prepping for what felt like hours before placing a single trade. It was a manual labor of love, but I knew there had to be a more efficient way. That dedication, those hours of analysis laid the foundation for something groundbreaking. Turning point came when I decided to take matters into my own hands and create a piece of software that could automate the very process I spent countless hours doing manually. Fast forwarding to today, I'm thrilled to show you how I transform my manual supply and demand trading approach into a fully automated system. But first, let's talk about the concept supply and demand itself. Supply and demand trading isn't just about lines on a chart. It's about understanding the ebb and flow of the market, recognizing those critical zones where buying and selling pressure collide. These zones act like magnets, pulling the price in one direction or another. In the world of Forex, currency prices are determined by the interaction between buyers and sellers, much like any other market. Understanding this interaction is the key to making informed trading decisions. Think of supply and demand as two opposing forces, constantly in flux. When demand for a particular currency exceeds its supply, well, the price goes up. Conversely, when supply surpasses demand, well, the price goes down. However, it's important to note that various factors influence supply and demand in the forex market. Economic data releases, geopolitical events and even unexpected news can create sudden shifts in the balance between buyers and sellers. And price action is crucial in confirming these zones. Only applying the zones solely will not help out, therefore we also develop a script for our community in New Capital and on that particular script the trading bot will also trade upon. So we look for signs like candlestick patterns, trend line breaks or other technical indicators to validate the strength of a supply or demand zone. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. On the positive note, supply and demand trading provides a clear and objective strategy that can adapt to various market conditions. But like any approach, of course it has its challenges such as the already mentioned sudden market shocks, the need for deep understanding and the potential time consumption especially for manual traders. Well luckily the last part we will dive deeper into this particular video in which I will show you actually the fully automated supply and demand strategy. Speaking of strategies, I've got something special for you. My colleague Max he has created an in-depth video explaining the new capital supply and demand strategy. The very strategy powering the trading bot you are about to see. So you will find the link here in the upper right corner. Trust me, it's a game changer. Check it out. About the game changer. Automated supply and demand trading. Automated. Imagine having a tireless trading assistant. An expert that never sleeps, but always vigilant for opportunities. That's the beauty of overall algorithmic trading. And let me show you how I turned this concept into reality. Algorithmic trading involves using computer algorithms to execute trades automatically based on predefined criteria. In my case, those criteria revolve around the identification of supply and demand zones. The bot is programmed to analyze the market spot these zones and execute trades with precision. There are two kinds of flavors in entering these supply and demand zones. On the one hand side we have the 4 hour strategy which is based on the already mentioned script. The script is a price action pattern consisting out of 3 up to 5 or 6 candlesticks which are then signaling an overall bullish or bearish trend. The second entry criteria in how we exploit the supply and demand zones is the so-called scale-in strategy. We simply check out a break and reversal to the 1 hour 50 EMA, apply the 0.75 Fibonacci as a supply. We simply apply then the 0.75 Fibonacci as a stop loss and simply get out of the market 
depending on different kind of strategies. But in our case, we will simply say a one to two risk to reward ratio. So what is the benefit having such a trading bot in place you see right here on the screen? Firstly, it eliminates the emotional aspect of trading. No fear, no greed, just cold calculated decisions. Secondly, it's lightning fast. The bot can process information and execute trades in a fraction of a second, something human traders can't match. I've designed the bot to be customizable. Traders can tweak parameters, set risk preferences and adapt the strategy to their liking. It is about empowering you, the trader, while keeping the process efficient, effective, convenient. The bot continuously analyzes real-time data, as you can see it right here on the screens. It adapts to changing market conditions, ensuring that the strategy remains relevant and effective. This is a level of adaptability that manual trading struggles to achieve from time to time. Now let's cut to the chase. Here is a live demonstration of the bot in action. Watch as it identifies supply and demand zones, executes trades and manages the position as well. It's fascinating, at least from my point of view, to see how it navigates the market with precision. So as you can see it right here on the screens, the two entry approaches, one is based on the four hour entrance strategy, right? So every four hour, either the script is triggered, which is consisting out of three to five to six candlesticks, or we scale into a position via the one hour 50 EMA. In that circumstance, you see that we enter the trade bang on on the full hour. Why? Because every four hour we check or actually the trading bot is checking. Is there a green light? Shall we enter long or short with the script? Yes or no? In that case, yes, bang on it went in and you see the stop loss is 1.5x based on the calculation of the entrance level to the recent highs and lows multiplied by 1.5. Therefore, the stop loss is always a little bit higher or lower than the most recent high and low. Again, what you also see here, the scaling opportunity as soon as we break out the 1 hour 50 and the price goes back and touches the 1 hour 50, there is another trade triggered to absolutely exploit the supply and demand zones at its to its maximum. And how is the stop loss calculated right here? Well, simply by the Fibonacci. So we simply take the recent highs and lows, we draw the 0.75 Fibonacci level in, and you see the stop loss is somewhere at the 75% level. And we exit the position at a one to two risk to reward. What I did not mention, the four hour strategy, we have a one to three risk to reward ratio. Another very nice interesting aspect from my point of view is the post trade analysis, which is crucial. And luckily the bot keeps a meticulous record of every single trade, not only in the reports, but of course also visually. So you can also read those supply and demand zones back over years. So I can review the performance, identify strength and weaknesses and fine tune the strategy for continuous improvement, what is definitely a necessity for such a strategy. So there you have it, automated supply and demand trading in action. The future of trading and it's about combining the power of market analysis with the efficiency of algorithms, decision based trading. If you found this intriguing and you want to get your hands on this bot, well, you can. I will share this trading bot in the foreseeable future. And when you are curious how you can get a hold on that one, simply leave a comment to stay up to date and I will follow up with you in the near future.